Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Mom. Today we're going to talk about the Lotus 400 watts power station. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. We will start unboxing this Lotus. charge. Pag sa electricity daw po siya i-charge, kailangan within 24 hours. So, yun po ang tatandaan ninyo. Once na nakuha niyo yung item, make sure na i-charge niyo siya within 24 hours. Kahit na halimbawa ang makita niyo na magigreen to, kailangan tapusin niyo siya within 24 hours. Kasi nakalagay naman siya dito. Kung babasahin niyo yung sticker, eh nang sabi sa sticker, charge your load was power station for 24 hours immediately after purchases. After 24 hours of charging, so ito na po nakikita natin sa LED. Sa BAC niya, 21.9 Hertz, 6.8 Watt, 0. Siyempre, wala pa magagana. BTC, 13.8. Ang sabi po dun sa manual, pag umabot na daw yan ng 12, pwede nyo na siyang i-charge. sinisimula namin i-charge itong power station sa pamamagitan ng solar panel. Ayan po. Ayan po yung foldable panel na binili namin. Ayan. So, this is the Lotus 400 watts power station. Okay. So, it includes AC adapter. So, this is for the charging. It also includes jump start cable and 12 DC adapter you can use this for your car okay. so let's talk about the specs of the Lotus power station so here are the specs of the Lotus power station uh, the power inverter on and off right? so, let's see. so this is the power inverter on and off and on this side you will see two AC outlet 220 volts and on this side so this is the display so you can see what is the VAC the HC watts and the VDC and then you also see three USB just press this one so you can use the USB it has three USB socket Plus, so, this is the charging for the electricity. So, this is the AC-DC charging port. This is for the electricity. Here. And this one is for solar charging port. So, if you have a solar uh, panel, which is 60 watts, that is compatible with 400 watts Lotus, you can also use the solar panel for charging. And this is the rubberized handle. And on the side, you will see the LED area light compartment. Right? And this is where you're gonna put the jump start cable. Okay. So, charge na po natin yung cellphone. May tatlo po siyang USB port. Hindi na po kailangan i-on tong inverter. Kahit eto lang po. Press nyo po yan. Nakita nyo po nag-light na po siya ng green. Ayan. So, tingnan nyo po. Eto po siya. Nag-charge na. Ayan po nakikita nyo. Ayan. Ayan po. Nag-charging. Try po natin sa iba. Ilipat. Tatlo po yan. Ayan. Ito pa ho. Ayan. Nakikita nyo po yan. Nag-charge ulit. Ang dali ah. Ayan. Ayan. Ayan ko alam ko nakikita niyo nag ayan oh next yung isa pa ayan si charge mo siya di ba so hindi na kailangan pindutin tong power inverter na on and off switch may sariling switch yung USB okay. so dito po sa may LED display makikita po natin kagaya po niya no naka-charge pa yung chargeable electric fan ito 22 61.4 Hertz niya, watts 3. 
So, BDC niya, 13.0. Pag yung BDC daw po, nag-12, kailangan nyo na pong i-stop ang charging. Para po yung shelf life ng battery tumagal. Hindi po siya dapat i-drain. Basta tandaan nyo po, pag nag-12 siya. Okay, so pag-usapan na po natin ang pros at ang cons ng product. Ang cons po talaga niya is yung price. Because if you're going to buy a 900 watts gasoline or diesel generator, it would only cost around 6,000, 7,000. So mga ganun lang po yung price range niya. Unlike this one, we bought this in Vista Mall for the price of 18,995 pesos. But if you're going to check Shopee and Lazada, makakabili po kayo ng medyo mas cheaper price. I saw there is 16,095, meron din 14,000. So, I'll just put the link in the description box para may options po kayo kung saan nyo mas gusto siyang pinhin. Uh, pangalawang cons nyo po is kailangan po be very extra careful also dun sa power station. Bawal po siyang mabasa, bawal din siyang masyadong mainitan. And, make sure po na hindi po natin i-drain yung battery. Pag nakita na po natin sa LCD display na yung VDC niya ay nag-reach na ng 12, stop charging na po. Kasi sabi po dun sa manual, para daw po humaba yung shelf life ng ating power station, kailangan po talaga huwag siyang i-drain. So pag nag-12 na po, stop na po. So kung may mga katanungan pa po kayo, feel free to comment. If you find this video helpful, please click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching my channel. Bye!